in the top right corner of the screen click on create then new project we've got a number of options but to start off with we're going to press browse loops down here on the right hand side you can scroll down and see all the loop packs there are many different styles Bollywood Electric Synthwave Ultra Progressive House Techno Dub and we can scroll down for a really huge choice it's worth having a really good look through all these different styles and before you choose a style it might be worth pressing the play button the demo button and see what your song might sound like have a good look around and if you're not sure try as many as you want let's try indie essentials trap pop fusion and the description here tells you a little bit about it bright upbeat and groovy trap and pop fusion and here this is an important feature here we can see it has 95 loops so that means we've got a choice of using 95 different loops some have more 101 there some have less and I suggest that you find a style or a genre with as many loops as possible giving you a greater choice okay I like that one so I'm going to click here and as we can see we have about 95 different samples that we can use to start our song to audition a sound in other words to hear a sound all we need to do is click on here and it will keep repeating Let's try another one. And the next one. If we click it again, it stops. A lot of the samples have a theme to them so DNC synthpad DNC sequencer would suggest that these sounds might go together and fit very nicely we can see dream bass dream synth dream guitar so they're grouped in sounds that might go together and just by identifying the name can help us put songs together that sound cohesive Try out as many loops as you like until you find something that you think will be really nice to start your song with. In the introduction, we're looking for four or five different sounds to start the song off with. And they can probably be put into four categories. Beats, bass, 
keyboard, synth and guitar, and melodies and tunes. Okay, so I found one I like. So what I need to do now is hold down the mouse and drag it in up here where it says drop a loop or an audio MIDI file. So I'm going to put it right over here. And it's not quite at the beginning. So I'm going to push it to start a bar one. And I can see this is four bars long. And up here on the transport controls, I'm going to press play. Okay, I'm happy with that. And so what I'm going to do is copy it or make it longer because the introduction is 16 bars long. And so if I go to the top right hand corner, that little hand changes to an arrow. And I'm going to drag this to bar number 17. Uh, that sounds a little bit confusing because it's 16 bars long. But if we count the number of bars, we'll see that this is in fact 16 bars long. It starts at 1 and it ends at 17. And you can see where I've copied this or dragged it because the color has faded slightly, which shows me that I've copied this first sample, this first loop for 16 bars. So now what I'm looking for is another track that will go with this Dream synth pad. So maybe I should try uh, a Dream bass. That's quite nice. Let's try the Dream beat. That's good. I like that dream guitar, so I'm going to hold down the mouse and drag it in and drop. It doesn't really matter where I drop it because I am going to move it. But instead of starting from the beginning, I'm going to start four bars in so that the dream synth plays on its own for four bars and then this new dream guitar starts playing and that comes in at bar five and I want to copy it to bar 17 and so what I'm going to do is go up to this top right hand corner until I see the little hand change to the arrow hold down the mouse and drag it to end at 17. So let's have a quick listen. Here's the rewind button. Go to the beginning. So it's going to start at bar one. Let's have a listen. I'm happy with that. That sounds very good together. But I'm feeling that it feels a little bit slow at the moment. The tempo is a little bit slow. If I look up here, I can see that the tempo is 73 BPM, which stands for beats per minute. So I'm going to try and double click and change 73 to, let's try 80 beats per minute. And I'm going to press enter or return. It's asking me a question about audio stretching. Would you like to adjust the existing audio regions from 73 beats per minute to 80 beats per minute? 
and I've got a choice don't adjust cancel or adjust so I'm going to say yes adjust there it is and now we can see it's 80 beats per minute if I want to play from bar 5 I can click it there It's still feeling a little slow, so I'm going to go up another 5 beats per minute to 85 BPM. Enter. Once again, audio stretching. Adjust. Let's try it now. Starting from bar 5. Click play. I think I'm happy with that for the time being. So what I'm looking for now is another sample, another loop. I'm still going to stay with the dream. So let's try the synth, the dream bass. I think that will go nicely. So drag and drop. And what I'm going to do now is four bars later. So I started at bar five. Five at four is nine. This is now where I'm going to put this dream base to start at bar nine. Let's have a listen from bar five. That works really nicely, I think. So what I'm going to do now is copy this, the base, going up to the right hand corner, waiting for those little arrows to appear, and then dragging it to bar 17. And let's look for something else. I'm looking for a, a melody or a tune now. Um, That's worth a try. So I'm going to drag that in. This time it's a bar 13, four bars later. And let's uh, try it from bar 13. No, I don't like that at all. So I'm going to click on it and right click on it and press delete. Let's keep trying. That's quite interesting, so I'm going to give that a try. Move it to bar 13. Let's try from there. Yeah, I like that. So once again, top right hand corner and drag that. So now we've got four different loops 
and as you can see we've created a build up by this first loop playing for four bars on its own then comes in the dream guitar plays for another four bars then the bass comes in playing for another four bars and finally we've got this money synth and that plays for four bars let's rewind it and have a listen That's good. I'm pleased with that so far. The final thing I'm looking for is a type of effect, a sound that will suggest that this introduction is ending and something exciting is about to happen. So we've built it up in terms of the number of instruments and this will increase the volume. So it's getting louder and louder and louder. And now I want a little sound that would suggest something fantastic is about to happen, something exciting is about to happen. So let's try a few of these. See if any of the names suggest uh, something interesting. I don't really want anything with a tune. That's the sort of thing I think would work. So I'm going to drag it in. And I can see on the waveform that's the where the sound comes in and then it tails off and it goes quiet. So I'm going to drag this. Let's try put it there and see how that sounds from let's say bar 30. <laughs> Well, I like the sound, but I think it came a little bit too soon. So I'm going to try there. Go from bar 13. Yep, I like that a lot. So what I'm going to do now is pause and save my work up here in the top right hand corner and at the moment it's just called new project but we can change that at any point when we've decided what the song is to be called that is now saved so we're ready for the next section which will be the chorus <laughs> 